Hello and welcome to Deadline Day, episode 3 of the NK Zagreb save and it is Deadline Day for the Croatian 3rd League West on the 31st of August 2018. We also have a game coming up against Spansko tomorrow which is just a great name, Spansko. Uh, I'd, if I'd known they'd existed I might have taken them over first, NK Spansko. What a name. But um, we'll, we'll just have a look before we dive into the realms and the mind-boggling field that is transfer deadline day we will have a look at the schedule it's been a mixed bag the 1-1 against Zagadech was which you guys were here for and we played in the last episode then we played the whole month of August and we've come back for the last bit of all well 31st of August and the 1st of September for the game against Spansko we have two wins but only one of them was a friendly so we're we're up to three points in the league uh, we lost 2-1 to Optja, if we can have a look at the stats, or wherever they are, match stats. Uh, as you can see, we were pretty much completely outplayed. We lined up in a 4-3-2-1 formation, and yeah, they they deserve their win. Four clear-cut chances to our two. We didn't really do very well in the game. So we then went up and played Maximaya and lost 2-0 at home, and... Again, it wasn't very good. We lined up in a pretty similar formation. There are some names in there that will be pretty new to you guys that you won't have seen yet. But we lined up in a similar formation. We actually played a lot better. We created okay chances. Um, they were mainly half chances though. Three, They created three clear-cut chances and our defence was getting open up and split about from the back. They had seven shots on target. We had five. They had 15 shots on total. We had 12 Overall, again, they deserve to win the game. Next up, we had a 3-2 friendly win against Junka away at the Stadion Junka, who are in the third division east, I think. They're in another third division. Um, and we came into this game, they had, ooh, well, I was going to say all the possession, but I can't remember if they did, actually. Um, where is possession in here? No, we had all the possession. 55% possession, 11 shots, 6 on target and we're playing this 4-3-2-1 but we'd slightly mix things up and it appeared to have worked we restricted them to only three shots on target they created only one clear-cut chance in the game as did we but it was it was a good performance as you can see our passes that we're attempting 393 is a lot of passes for a team at our level and it was very very good to see now the other thing i've noticed that a lot of teams basically line up in this formation four at the back two holding midfielders three across the attacking midfield spots and then one up front and that's what we've been coming up against we then had a 2-1 loss to Vinagrada who went ahead very early on uh, if we look at the stats for this game we deserved more out of this game in all honesty we really did um, we lined up again with a similar formation they lined up in that formation that everybody's using a 4-2-3-1 DM wide we didn't create any clear-cut chances. We did create four half chances. They had three clear-cut chances, scored two of them. Um, but they scored from their first two shots on target, which was really annoying. You can see we did restrict them to quite a lot of long shots, five long shots and only five shots on target, whereas we had seven shots on target from 15. Again, we um, did really well with the possession, 56%. We're trying to complete a lot of passes, 419 we tried to complete in this game. So... We we were I felt like we were getting on the right track and then we finally got a win against Yadran Podec. Um, we got a win in the 91st minute by Ivan Obasevic, our right back, who you would not expect to get a goal. And Regovic, I think, is our top scorer at the moment. This game, though, um, we were bossing it, and then they all of a sudden changed something and started to play really well. But clear-cut chances, two apiece. Half-cut chances, one apiece. Possession, we just edged it with 51%. Uh, again, passes, we outpassed them around the pitch, which was great. And we're basically now going for a formation, which we'll have a look at it. We'll have a look at it now. Let's go into the tactics screen. We're going for, again, the same shape of the formation is here. Anybody that watched the, the NK Maribor save, I fell in love with the formation we played there, which is this 4-1-2-2-1, as I called it. Um, and basically what it did is it set us out to go and score more goals in the opposition and we stuck with it and it sort of came through the whole of that save which is similar to what I want to do for this sort of save. I want to have a certain way of playing no matter what level we're at and this is it. At the moment this is it because our defence is so bad we basically just have to go out there and score more than we concede and this formation sort of allows us to do that. Um, so it's a four at the back, a four-one-two-two-one, as I've said. 
we play with like out and out wing backs who fly forward. Um, Ramadani is a new signing who we'll get onto new signings in a minute. So the two centre backs sit back. Ramadani sits in behind them to make a back three when he wants to come and pick the ball up from short short passes from the goalkeeper. Uh, Vinsky sort of holds the fort in midfield. Bektasi, his job is to go and up and support Jovanovski. Jovanovski, Jovanovski, I think that would be. And then two inside forwards come in and we pile down the middle, allowing the wing backs to give us the the width that we need. Now, going forward, it's working really well. However, it's not very good for defensive nature of of how we play or how we want to play. And that's only going to get better by signing better players, unfortunately. We're very short at centre-back. Um, and I haven't sorted that problem out because the scouts are really slow and really bad at scouting. So what we'll do is we'll keep going and look at the transfer history of who we've brought in. So there were a lot of people that came in, um, obviously, before we were here. All the way down to, um, well, we brought in these two. So Jakilic and Obseyevich came in with us. We've then brought in Hissa Ramadani on loan from first division team, Istanbul 1961. He looks pretty good. I'm happy with him. Tackling 14, passing 10, marking 10, technique 14. Um, decent positioning with 11, leadership 11, work rate 13. Good jumping reach, good pace, good natural fitness. For our, for our sort of level, he's a good player. Decent first touch. So he is playing in this holding midfield role. He's actually playing as a halfback. So as you can see, he's got the passing, he's got the tackling. Teamwork's a little bit low, but generally he's got all the stats that we can use in that halfback role, and I'm happy to get him in. After that, we brought in Nedan Dedic, a new left back. He's pretty good. Again, we're using him as a complete wing back. In, he's got... I saw it like this. He can play a complete wing back role because he's got all the stats are yellow or above, which is great. None of the stats are red that he needs to be a complete wing back. So I saw that as pretty good. I mean, his crossing is good. His pace is really good. Good acceleration, agility, balance. It's all there. Teamwork's, again, a little bit low. Tackling's a bit low for a defensive player. But we're asking him to push forward and get on. And he's got a photo in the game, which means that he must have done something useful in his life. Probably when he was representing Banik Ostrava and uh, Zavrich in the Slovenian First Division. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. He's done all right since he's been in the club. Next up, Tomislav Filipovic comes in. Uh, mm, yeah, he's 37. He's a journeyman striker. I don't think he's actually going to play that much for us. But he's got great finishing, good pace and good acceleration. Decent off the ball. Good heading. Six foot. Good composure. I sort of just wanted to get him in. If we need a goal, go two up front, something like that, he'll come on and possibly get a game. Zoran Storag then comes in. Um, midfield, right or centre forward. Generally, we use him as an inside forward on the right, even though he's right-footed. But again, decent pace, decent dribbling, finishing, crossing could be better for a winger. Passing technique, is, is all, he's sort of a bit of a meh. But he's on a free transfer. We'll see how he does, see how he gets on. A lot of these players we've signed as well are on zero, zero pounds per week. They only get paid if we play them. So that's why I'm not too fussed about bringing in these players. Um, next up, Ivan Kasum on a free transfer from, um, who do we sign from? Yuskok in the third league south. This one, I just wanted a body, another person that we could play up front. I've got a feeling that the players are going to really struggle to play all the games that we want and if we get strikers and our, the strikers get an injury then we've got real problems so he's definitely been brought in as a backup he won't be getting paid that much because he's not going to play that much so yeah a bit meh but he's in the van Dario Yovonovsky Dario Yovonovsky is how we're going to go for his name he's in another striker this guy is actually pretty good though he plays an advanced forward it gives us something different to try um, again, zero per week. He only is getting paid £170 per appearance. So at most he's getting 170 quid a week, which isn't too bad. And yeah, good dribbling, good finishing, good first touch, good technique. Off the ball's all right. Work rate's okay. Decent ish pace, good acceleration. All in all, he'll get some appearances and hopefully get us some goals as well. And then the last one, who's just joined us. I say just joined us, 11 days ago, but to me it feels like he's just joined us, Ali Karimi, and I'm quite excited by Ali Karimi, 24-year-old Iranian, he's got under 20 caps for Iran, passing 13, technique 14, good vision, decent work rate-ish, acceleration's low, stamina is okay, strength is good, decision, composure, anticipation, first touch, he looks like the sort of player that we could utilise in this either half-back or a centre midfield role, and 
that's something I'm quite excited about. As we see, if we go to half back again, his stats sort of match it, other than teamwork. That is really poor. But I think it's a good person to get in. We've got him technically from uh, Dynamo Zagreb as well. So quite a good person to bring in and see how he gets on. He was on loan at the, in the first league last season. So he comes with a little bit of pedigree, which is good to see. But it is transfer deadline day. And we've got a lot of people that our scouts have been looking at. And these are the people that the scouts have found or I've asked them to scout. And the main one I wanted was Mario Kubel. If I go to negotiate a contract, you'll see that I completely buggered it up last time. Um, I didn't completely bugger it up. He wanted too much money. We couldn't afford it. So I was trying to fix clauses in and stuff and it didn't work. And he then doesn't want to negotiate with us anymore. However... We are looking at other people. I've got the scouts out. If we go to do, 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 players scouted, is that the one I want? I think we've got... So we have scouted quite a few people um, that we've looked at. Mile Todorov is one that I was after. Don't think that Novigrad are going to let him go to us. I think I wanted him. Oh, he's, a, he is listed for loan. Um, maybe we get him in as a loan. Oh, yeah, because they want 100% and we can't afford it. So... Nope, that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, we've got, as you can see, quite a few people being, being, well, have been scouted. So if we go into the player search screen, as you can see, we are looking for a midfield centre just to give us that little bit more um, initiative. I was looking for centre-backs, but there's really not much out there at the moment. It's very hard to, to get anybody of any sort of standard that you would want in. There's no one really out there that's improving what we've already got the club. I wanted to get Sadiqi in on loan and he didn't want to move. Maybe we'll try it again and we'll bump him up to a first team. Just because I'm wondering if he'll panic a little bit on deadline day and be like, oh yeah, I've got to move. Um, he's coming in from Lokomotiva. He looks okay from the stats we can see, but it would be another body in the club, which is great. And then it's the, they're, they're just in the third league again and they're not really going to improve us. Saric, we don't even know anything about him. Um, Gulis, we don't know anything about him. And Jug, we don't know anything, or Jug, I'd imagine it would be, we don't know anything about him either. So it is very tough to find people at the moment. So, I mean, Peter Malic, Austria, Premier Division, goalkeeper, he's interested in moving us to loan, but we don't need a goalkeeper. It's Yeah, it's really tough. Lovro Knezic looks like he could be okay if all these are at the top end, but they probably won't be. Rated as a 61% like good signing. It's Yeah, it's just all a bit meh when you look out there really that's the only way I can describe it and I don't really think we should be buying from other third division teams we should be looking to buy in people that have played at a slightly higher pedigree maybe I'm just being a bit snobbish and being a bit wrong about how I should do lower league football and who I should bring in but yeah the problem we've got is that our scouts are so bad that we don't know who any stats from any players so as soon as I go to like because the sensible thing would be to be like oh you know you want a central midfielder, why don't you go and get one that's got really good passing? So I could do that, although Elvis Kuklak is on a free and he's 30. He looks why is he so 58? Why is he so bad? He would be the best centre back at the club. How can he only be a 58% signing? That doesn't make sense, Mr. Scout. That does not make sense. Right, let's go and get you in then. Let's um oh no, we can't afford that. You can have 110 and we'll see what you want to make that happen. After 30 games, we'll give you 120. Yes, 10% pay rise. Um, suggest that. Contract extension after promotion. Yeah, one year. That's not a problem. Non-promotion release clause of 17 point. Yeah, we're signing on a free, so I'll take any money for you, really. 50% pay wage rise. Yearly wage rise, 35%. Um, we'll knock that one down. And you've got yourself a deal, my friend. There we go. Why not? Why not? We'll get him in. I mean, if we run out of money, we'll just ask the Mafia to go and rob a bank or something. So, I mean, so this is the problem we, we get onto. Stefan Palic, midfield, attacking midfield centre. Again, looks okay. We're not going to have enough time to scout him properly. He's been scouted. Apparently, he's the, he would be the second best attacking midfielder at the club, but he's only 55% rated. Let's get him as well. Why not? Panic buys. That's what it's all about. Back up. Appearance fee, 110 well, you're getting 110, and there's nothing much you can say about it. No, I didn't want... They, they, again, and now, this is where it comes down to the point of where we haven't got enough money. Vinograd make Kodic offer. Who's this guy? Kodic. Who's this guy? 
He's on a free. He's goalkeeper. We don't need a goalkeeper. So our loan offer for Siddiqui has been accepted. How seriously is your transfer budget? Uh, I don't want to discuss the club finances. We haven't actually spent any money on transfers, but we are very much in the red and we're massively overspending on wages. So we're going to do that and just... I don't know. We, we've got so much money going out on wages. Or especially when it predicts next year as well because... Uh, the people we've signed, we've given quite a lot of 50% uh, wage clauses and things like that. So Siddiqui is hopefully going to... He is going to move on loan. Yes, that is good. Okay, that is good. Except because it's another body in. And Koklovic wants to move as well. So two more centre-backs joining the club. Um, and we're taking on Spansko, which is good. Juric demands more for Mateovic. Well, he's been... Well, no, Leo Mateovic has been okay, actually. It's been the guy. So at the moment we're playing Taric at centre back. Um, he's he's very good. He's a good player. He can pl sort of play there. But we've dropped completely from the team as Yakilic because he's had three really bad training sessions or training weeks in a row. And I've been I've spoken to him every single time, and he's like, yeah, I need to improve. And then he doesn't. So he's just been dropped now. As we finalise Koklovic, let's have a look to see how good he is. Not too bad actually. Not too bad. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he'll actually improve us quite a bit. Again, comes this is better. comes from the second league, coming from the Polish league, Turkey, and then yeah, he's had a bit of time in the first league in Croatia, so he'll know what it's about. And Sadiki, who is a Canadian, um, joins us from Lokomotiva, who are in the first league. So again, and he comes from Stoke. So, I mean, what more could you want? We've got a Stoke centre back, technically ex Stoke centre back. Why not? I'll take it. So we can already see our club is growing in player numbers now, which is good. I mean, there is someone, yeah, Mahovic, can, I reckon we just drop him down to the under-19s. He's actually ineligible to play for us this season anyway in the main competition. We can probably drop one of these goalkeepers. Who's the youngest? 19. Pavlic is 19 as well. Potential ability, 5 star. Current ability, 3. Jokic, 2.5, 4.5. Letic is 19 as well. So, okay, we'll drop Jokic down to the under-19 squad. We'll keep these three up here for the time being. So, more options coming in the squad. Um, Left-back could be a problem because we've got real no-one to back up. Uh, Dedic, Kurtovic can, but doesn't really like to play as a wing-back and generally isn't very good. Dribbling one um, isn't the best. So, maybe we just have a quick look into deadline day. And go and see if we can find a left back. Well, there's one right there with good passing. So um, let's give him a look. Where are Lu Who are Luco? Where are they? Second league. Okay. In the second league, eh? Do we get you in on loan? Are you free? No, you want 100% of his wages. That's Don't list him for loan. Don't list him for loan if you want someone to pay his wages. That's the rule. Okay. Um, I need good crossing. Crossing is what we need for our fullbacks. So... Is that technical? Yeah, crossing 15, no, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, there we go, we've got one, he's a right winger, 7, 6, 5, 4, he's a poacher, 3, he's a poacher, 2, he's a unknown, 1, brilliant, get rid of that then, let's go and look, I mean that is the problem we've got, that is the tough nature of where we are at the moment, so position is left back. Dimitris Papazoglu is someone we have scouted and they have recommended we get him, but it's not going to happen. They would require 100% of his wages. We can't afford that. Damn it. Uh, Philip Reita is listed for transfer. Don't know anything about him, so that's not going to work. And then we've got freebies. So Badisic, who we don't know anything about, 37 years old, had played for a lot of clubs. That is a lot of football. He actually used to play for Zagreb, if I look in there. He did used to play for Zagreb when we were in the first league. 16 appearances he made. Maybe we could bring him in. Uh, Mick Gulic, I have literally no idea about him either. But he did play in the Bosnian Herzegovina Premier League after playing for someone in the third league south here. So how good is the Bosnian third league? That's the real question. That's the real quiz. That is the real quiz. Tomislav Pulisic, uh, Pul Pulisic looks pretty good, actually, to be honest. But um, I don't know. Ben Kitchen was someone that... Just because he used to play for Newcastle. That's someone I was maybe looking at bringing on loan. But I don't think we can even afford him on loan. I think they want... Yeah, they want all his wages paid, which we can't afford. Uh, Josip Rodan, 31-year-old. Have a bit of experience. Second league, third league. Meh, yeah, it's not 
not the best. Leonardo Vuk, again, it's just so we don't know anything about these players. He played 14 appearances in the second league last year. Let's go and let's see. Do they want him? They want 100% of his wages. No, nah, it doesn't look like we're going to get a left back in. So we'll keep going. We've got what? No, we've got about six hours left of the window, I think. So we'll see what happens. Ah, so Mario Kubel is now keen to discuss again with us. Now we can't offer you £200 a week. We can offer you 110 so we'll fix that in. If you score 20 goals, we'll give you £400 and we'll give you 35% if we get promoted. So what do you think about that? No, okay, signing on fee's fine. After 30 games, we'll give you 120 quid. I mean, what is that about? Uh, right, let's try that. Oh, he actually wants to agree terms now. 530 uh, non-promotion release clause. You can go for 14 k to sweeten the deal. And after 15, 20 goals, we'll give you £500. Suggest done. We're actually going to get this guy in. This is the one guy I probably actually wanted in the transfer window. And Kubel is going to accept the deal. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. He is in the van, which is absolutely wonderful. Right. We're not going to make any more deals. We've got a big squad now. And I think we are just going to be back for the game against Spansko. So I will see you then. So here we are to play Spansko. We're away from home. We're lining up in a 4-1-2-2-1 formation as we discussed. We have Knezvic in goal, Obasevic, Taric, Matijevic and Dedic at the back. Ramadin in the middle, Vinsky and Bektasi in the, in the central midfield. Regovic on the right, right wing, Tramatona on the left wing and Jovanovski up front. They line up in a 4-2-3-1 unsurprisingly like everybody does in this division. Kovacic in goal. Kukic, I mean, he's got a picture, so let's have a look at him. Martinak, don't know anything about him. No, like rubbish. I don't know. This will be a tough game. They're all tough games in this one. So I'm going to say we're, gonna, we're away, so we're not going to have many fans actually here. Let's go passionate. Go out there and impress me. That's what I want to say. And then we'll passionately say that we have faith in everybody and just try and get them that last little bit of uh, fired up. Hopefully the assistant will have something to tell them about the tactical things of what to do for the opponents but there we are handshake on the sideline just before the players come out onto the pitch good to see me there i'm sure my brown trousers are covering up any poo stains that are coming from this season as they start with a back heel i mean what is that about so we're in the white kit kicking from right to left in this first half let's see what happens in this game as they start with a long ball forward obey Zajovic clears it away to tramatone on the left wing and then that's a wonderful tackle to get that ball back there but yeah, straight away, they've got a little injury at the back, which is good to see. We've got the league table on that little bit, middle bit as well. As we come forward, that's a very weirdly hit ball with outside the out to the left wing. Bektasi into Vinsky. Vinsky to Ramadani, looking over the top, but it was a bit of a poor pass. Dedic picks up the poor clearance, though. Gets to the byline, swings across. He's looking for Regovic at the back post on the volley. Regovic fires it in. Normally plays up front. Really found himself a great spot on this right wing inside forward roll as uh, Dedic managed to just hold up the ball here. No one, they weren't committing to the foul. Got round the back of him, and then Regovic is there, and bang, fires it in at the near post, or the far post, I should say. 1-0 Zagreb inside five minutes. What a start for the team in white. Obseovic then tries a free kick, which is poor, and the header falls to Novak, who looks over the top. That should be the goalkeeper's ball, and is as it goes back to Knezovic. The ball over the top, then finds Jovanskis. He's in through on goal, and it's a good save from Kovacic in goal for Spansko, and we get a corner. And we've looked in the pre in the friendly we had, mid-season friendly, we actually look pretty dangerous from corners. His head back. Vinsky's there. What a block that is. That was going in. That was going in from Vinsky. And Spansko live to fight another day. And this is what I mean. If we don't rely on our defence so much, if we just push forward and keep trying to get goals, then we look pretty dangerous. Regovic into Vinsky. Vinsky's tackled, but that's a poor pass. Although Ehrlich keeps it in play for Spansko. Looks up the line. That's easy for Matijevic to intercept. Bektasi. Vinsky. Launches it out to Obzevic, Obzevic, however you pronounce his name, on the right wing. He comes forward, swings in a box, looking for Jovanovic, and it's a good save again from the Spansko goalkeeper. Regovic picks up the ball on the right-hand side into Vinsky. Bektasi, great through ball for Jovanovic. Can he go around the goalkeeper this time? He does, but misses. Maric actually gets a tackle on the ball and blocks it out for a corner. Bektasi will swing this one in to the back post, but Novak is there to get the header away. Ramadani will pick the ball up. Flicks it back to Mantejevic. Mantejevic holds on to the ball. Now, the two new signings we brought in, one of them has made the bench, and that's the centre-back as uh, Dejic. We're just easing in the right winger. No need to bring him in for this one. Bektasi to Vinsky to Ramadani. Back to Vinsky. Back to Ramadani. Great ball out to Obzovic on the right-hand side. Ball across. Tramatona header. 
And again, it's a save from Kovacic in goal for Spansko. We are bossing this game. Seven shots, five on target. They've had zero. 69% possession to their 31, now 33%. You can see it's slowly moving us up the table, which is good. Kopp throws it into Novak, back to Kopp. Long ball forward looking for Vlatkovic, who's just managed to get in. Looks a little bit isolated. Great tackle from Obiseyevic, who started the season so poorly but has now turned his season around, although we're only five or six games in as Maric wins that header, but it's been kept alive. Jovanovetsky, he's in on goal again. What a save again from the goalkeeper. I don't know if I can blame bad finishing, but it just looks like their goalkeeper's having an absolute blinder to keep Jovanovetsky out. Can he score from a free kick? It's deflected, and even the goalkeeper gets back to that one as well for the deflection. And uh, it's been very unlucky, this for Zagreb. We should probably deserve to be more than one up, but it could be 1-1 one -one as Vlatkovic is through. Kuznayevic with a good save. Half an hour gone, and that's their first shot on target. And uh, at the moment, it's pretty plain sailing for Zagreb as Maric heads that straight in to Knezovic's chest. So Tramontana has just been fouled, hacked from behind. This could be a red, red card for Kuki. It is a straight red card. You just can't get away with that sort of tackle. And Bektasi will put the free kick into the box. Luzbik heads it away. It falls to Jovanovic. It, I've just butchered that name. He finds Vinsky. Ball across. There's Tramatona. And it's 2-0. And they get punished from that free kick and the red card. 2-0. Lovely work here. Yavanovsky holds it up really well. Finds it into, I think it was, was it Vinsky? Yeah, it was Vinsky. And then just cut that ball across. And Tramatona's there. Fires it home. 2-0. Is this the game? Dead and buried. Vinsky comes forward. Out to Obseyevich. Ball across. Malic gets it away. Vinsky picks it up. Obseyevich again looking across. Head away. Vinsky with a shot. And Kovacic turns it around the post. And Zagreb are cooking on gas right now. This is a very good performance. Bektasi swings it in. Looking for Obseyevich. Heads it across. Delic is there. Couldn't do anything with it though. And Kovacic just manages to pounce on the ball. And there's a free kick up the other end, and that's easy for Kuznevich to hold on to, and he should just slow the play down now. As we tick down towards half-time, Dedic lays it into Bektasi. Bektasi to Vinsky. Vinsky comes forward to Odegovic. Odegovic, who's becoming a bit of a cult hero already for this Zagreb team, lays it back. Bektasi takes over, shoots from range, got curl on it, but not enough. And it flies past the post, and it's been a pretty easy game, as the commentary said. Three shots for them, three on target, but not really troubling. Uh, Kuznevich in the goal for Zagreb. Two, 12 shots, 8 on target, 68 possession. It's been a very, very good performance, and that's what I'm going to tell them. I'm very happy with how it's going. No changes to be made at half time. Let's keep this train going. We are playing very well as Ramadani out to Dedic. Um, Ramadani's made a big difference. He gives us that solidity in holding midfield as that long ball forward is easy for Kovacic to hold, and I think the striker was offside anyway. I'm just going to let them know, uh, just going to demand a bit more from them so they don't slack off Ehrlich into Kopp to Ludzbicic Ludzbicic and Martinak, that's a ball to pretty much nowhere and it's easily covered by Taric who is filling in at centre back, he'll probably be the one person that will might lose his place in re next few weeks if performances don't keep up because we have centre backs waiting on the bench to replace him, especially the new signing, the, the young Canadian whose name escapes me at the moment but that ball forward is uh, very well Brought down by Vlatkovic, who gets a cross in, but it's blocked. And it's a corner to Spansko. And nothing, obviously nothing came of it, because we didn't see anything about it. So, meh. Ehrlich with a throw into Lubicic. Lubicic into Adzic. Adzic to Martinak. Martinak just holds onto the ball. Ball out right-hand side to Kinez, who's just come on. Kinez ball in. Vlatkovic, great save from Kinezovic. Obseyevic gets it away. And you can see they're just missing out on this right-hand side. I think we're just going to make a quick change up front. Don't like the fact my striker is looking complacent. Um, we could... Two things we do. We might bring Zebic on right wing and put Rigovic up front. Or we just bring on Filipovic as a straight swap. Filipovic has got good finishing. Let's give him a go. He hasn't really had a chance yet in the league. Um, it is Sadiki who could come on. Matijevic is looking a bit complacent. I mean, look at Taric. He's not even a centre-back and he's probably one of our best performers and he was so good in the last game as well when we got the win at centre back might be making that little place his own as uh, yeah Filipovic the veteran journeyman striker comes on to replace him Matejovic looking disinterested which isn't nice Dedic hits the free kick wow that was that was close that was closer than the goalkeeper gave it credit for but again we're just absolutely bossing this game this is much better this is what we want to see from Zagreb as Rado Radovac lays it out to Erlik Erlik to Adzic Adzic has got three players around him, but takes his time. Matejevic. Matejevic is coming off. We're going to give a debut to Sadike. He's going to come on and replace Matejevic on that left centre-back position. 
Uh, for his debut, is Matejovic just making an error there, looking disinterested. Can't be having that in my team. And uh, we get a corner. Bektasi puts it across. Vlatkovic heads it away. Vinsky picks up the clearance. And uh, he's got a man inside him. He uses it. Obseyevic into Ramadani. Ramadani to Bektasi. Lots of space on the edge of the box. Lays it in. Tomatora's there. Tramatona is in the squad. He's not the best player. He's in the squad because he's been training unbelievably well. And I've praised him a lot. So his morale's quite high. Dedic can't win that header from the corner. And uh, Lubjuk has got a lot of space to run into here. We've got to make sure men are back. And we are getting them back. That is... That's a professional foul, I think, is what you'd claim that, to stop the counter-attack. So, I'm not that fussed that he's made that. So, at about seven or, yeah, seven, eight minutes to go. Uh, we're going to make a sub. We're going to bring on Al Karimi for his debut. He's going to replace Ramadani in the half-back role. Just to freshen it up a little bit, give us a few fresh legs in central midfield. Keep that ticking over. Keep the passes moving. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how Karimi gets on. Only six or so minutes to, to make an impact, but... We'll see what he can do. He looks composed at the moment, which is good. But I think we've brought in a lot of players, but we've brought in a lot of players that give us options, which is the main thing that we want to do. And uh, just so we get to the end of the game, I'm just going to praise them because it's been a good performance here. Erlik Filipovic heads that away, and there we go. A good win. 2-0. No goals in the second half, but we did easily, easily dominate that game. A great performance to have on a live stream as well with you guys watching which is wonderful. I'm very happy with that victory. It climbs us up the table. I think six points from six games now, which I would take according that we started on minus one. And uh, yeah, looking looking pretty positive if we can keep these sort of performance up. So Karimi made his debut, which was good to see. And uh, with speculation going into the club's financial state, there's every possibility the defence middle may be one of the first to leave. Yeah, it's not the best. 556,000 pounds in the hole. But... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what the board really want to do about it. They've been allowed scouting of players within this nation. Uh, Medic is enjoying time at his club. Intends to be around. So it's already changed from, like, loves the club to intends to be around for a long time. So maybe he's looking to sell in the near future. We did ask the club for an affiliate, a senior affiliate. They said yes. They went looking. They didn't No one. They couldn't find anyone, which was annoying because I don't believe them. Um, because generally, now... Uh, uh, like Hajduk, why wouldn't Hajduk split or Dynamo Zagreb want to be our, uh, our senior affiliate for us when we're local, we're only semi-professional I don't know, but who knows um, the finances are insecure, we've now been predicted to finish fourth, so I guess that means the signings I've made have been pretty good because our prediction's gone from ninth to fourth, but who knows Renato Juracek, who is um, a manager, is that the manager that I replaced, did I kick him out by taking his job, no I didn't that's, oh, that's his career stats. Where's his management stats? No, it's not the guy I kicked out because he ventured into manager. And there we go. Short spells here, there, and everywhere. But not at NK Zagreb. So he hasn't actually been a manager for NK Zagreb, which is fine. So that's what it's going to be. It's been a one-game episode and transfer deadline day. We'll probably play through the rest of September and be back for a game in October. Thank you so much for all the support, by the way. Getting like 250 views or something in the first like 18 or 17 hours or whatever it was, it was absolutely fantastic for a channel of my size loving that really really good we'll probably come back for um the game against let's do i want to do a home game because we've done what did we do up here we did um zagadek was at home and yeah then we've done an away game against spansko maybe we'll come back for a home game around here somewhere really enjoying it so far i really hope you guys are as well thank you so much for doing it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the likes and the comments and everything like that it's been great um i do have names to add to that list i pointed the wrong way again um yeah so you will be added on as soon as i remember i i want to redo this end screen i'm not a big fan of it i think it needs updating with a few more fancy logos and stuff on it but thank you so much for all the support i'm babbling once again as ever but for now i'm out cheers